first was told about this spot. I tend to stay on one side of town. I shouldn't do that. But yeah. did. <laughs> and uh, they said, now you've got to go to Greenmont and 30th Street. And I said, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said, now when you go, you got to stop at this place called Dog of the Blue. I said, uh-huh. And I came with some friends and I looked around the neighborhood. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> and walked past the door. I said, what in the world is it? We've got up in here. We're not coming. Got in my car and went on to another location. A friend of mine said, now, you're a fool. <laughs> and I was insulted. I said, man, do you know where you sent me? Greenmark and 30th Street. He said, did you go in? I said, no. He said, you're a fool. I said, all right, let's go. Got him together, we came up in here and opened the door. Now this is before we got a gig. I walked in, I said, holy mackerel, look what we got up in here. And I saw that you can literally decide, you can take something, fix it up, and I honestly, I mean this, go downtown, go into this new Harbor East, and go to some of these other locations and try to find within the same acre space a place any finding that you got right here on right. Green Mountain right. Church. Right. 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 And 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 then to have the ability to smile, cook, serve, and make you believe at the time he and she is talking to you that you're the most important customer at that moment. <laughs> and need it. And so it is, no doubt, for five years and all that he has gone through, this community, Mary Pat Clark was here earlier. She said to me, I'm so proud of him. I'm so joyful that it is in my district. I said, that's where you, nobody ran against you. You were smart enough to do that. <laughs> the two are so special to all of us. We, we respect them, we love them, and we're honored that we, they have allowed us to become part of their dream. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the chef. Thank you. Thank you. You know, first and foremost, I, I have to thank Mr. Young because, you know, none of this, none of this could be possible without people, you know, like, you know, the commish, the senator. Mr. Larry Young, and of course other people in the community. You know, I, I always, I always tell people that um, Darker Than Blue. You know, I just manage this place. It's, it's actually owned by the Waverly community. You know, um, they, they. I remember when I, when I first started meeting people in the community, they, um, they weren't very welcoming. <laughs> but you know, after me and my tenacity, which most of you that know me will, will understand. <laughs> You know, they, um, they, they, they came around, and we were very appreciative that they did. You know, I'd like to bring somebody else up here. Um, my wife isn't here right now, but I'd like, to bring, I'd like to bring my other partner, you know, up here. And he, he does a lot behind the scenes, and, you know, I'm going to give everybody the opportunity to meet, you know, Dr. Marquise Walker, who's my closest friend since elementary. You know, so, you know, but, you know The one thing, the one thing, there, there's a few people I definitely want to recognize, you know, above Mark and Terrence. You know, one is my landlord, <laughs> <laughs> who without his help, when we first um, set out on this endeavor, we could not have done. He actually partnered with us on a number of occasions just doing the build out. You know, um, people like Karen Stokes of Greater Homewood, you know, who supported us in every endeavor that we've ever gone to Greater Homewood and gone to Greater Homewood, and gone to Greater Homewood <laughs> for. So it's, it's been a blessing. And of course, every single customer, when I'm looking around this room, every single customer that's come here, you know, once, twice, three, and four times, you know, because I know there's a, quite a few of you when we first opened that didn't get the best service. We'll, we'll talk about someone like Mr. James Merritt, you know, who's, who's in the room somewhere where we, we were suspect when we first opened, but he didn't critique. You know, he didn't, um, he didn't put us down. He came back and he offered, you know, constructive criticism on what we could do better next time. And we took it and we ran with it. So this 
restaurant belongs to you guys, not us. We just manage it, and we appreciate the first five years, and we're looking forward to another five. So thank you. I like. I, I can't not resist this, but you know, my my family is. Come, I just said this to some friends on the table. My family comes from um, restaurant and bar business, and I'm a complete failure because I do not do that. As far as I'm, I'm a community organizer. It's like, oh yeah, well, whatever that is, you know. You, you got to day in and day out do the restaurant and bar thing, and then we'll respect you. But what I got to say about, I am so excited. Five years, and what we were talking about is. He did this without a liquor license for five years. That's where you get your markup, you know? He was able to bring people in without that. And I don't know how many restaurants, and Regina will know this too, how many restaurants go to get a liquor license in this crazy neighborhood of Waverly and Charles Village and Abel where the neighborhood wants you to get a liquor license? Right. That, to me, was an incredible testimony that people in this neighborhood definitely had not just accepted you, but dearly, you know, you were part of this neighborhood. And when I first came here and realized that some crazy person decided to bring white tablecloths to Green Mount Avenue, I was like, whoever this man is, I will follow him <laughs> anywhere because we have a new place on Green Mount Avenue. And he has been an incredible leader in terms of the merchants as well. So I thank you for your community activism, your great food, and everything else you've contributed to this neighborhood. Thank you. Just, just to let you know, I'm not choked up now because of those wonderful words. I'm choked up because I have a liquor license coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can pay, I can pay bills. Yeah. We will drink here too. <laughs> <laughs>